Today we're going to take a look at inventory control charts. So firstly, we'll have a quick look at some of the terminology that you need to know. So inventory control, and that is about management levels of raw materials, work in progress and finished goods in order to reduce storage cost while still meeting customer demands. So it's not just about raw materials, it's about the three types of stock that a business will hold. Raw materials, work in progress and finished goods. Our next term is an inventory control chart and that's what we're going to be looking at and that is a diagram that's used to keep track of the levels of stock over time. Now we have buffer stock and that's the minimum level of inventory that the business wants to hold. So they hold this buffer stock so that it can cover any situations, for example, if there's a problem with a batch of supplies that they've um, received or if there's a delay getting goods from the supplier, that they've still got enough um, items in stock that they can still keep manufacturing for a short while. And then the reorder level, and that's just the level of in inventory or the number of units at which an order for stock is placed. And the lead time is the time taken for a supplier to deliver an item once the order has been placed. And then finally the reorder quantity and that's simply the number of products ordered. So now we will go on to have a look at some charts. So the starting point for an inventory control chart is the axes. So here you can see on the vertical axes we've got the, the number of units, the inventory holdings in stock and um, on the graph paper it's incrementing every 100 units so I've just noted the 500 and 1000 points and then along the bottom on the horizontal axis we've got um, time. In this example it's measured in weeks but it could be, it could be days, it could be um, months depending on what you're talking about and here it's simply um, incrementing in ones. So the next thing that um, we look at on an inventory control chart is stock being used. So this this pink line that's um, sloping down is where the business is using up the stocks that they've got. So it's starting at 900 and then over the course of three weeks they are using up um, down to 300. So they're using up 600 units of stock. So if the business happened to be using stock a lot more quickly then the line would look steeper, something like that. Or if the business was using stock more slowly then you'd have a much more gentle sloping line. But for now we will stick with our original line where they're using 600 units over the course of three weeks. So the next line that we draw on a chart is stock coming into the business. So here you can see now this, this is a, a vertical line. So at week three the business here has received enough stock to take it back up to 900 units. And in a typical stock control chart once you, what you'd like to see is this nice regular pattern. So this same thing is playing out every three weeks. The business is using stock and then they're receiving a new order and the stock level is going right back up to 900. So from this chart you can actually read off a couple of things. So firstly if you look at the bottom you can see um, that line that you can draw along the um, bottom points of the, the chart is known as the minimum stock level. So here our business is always wanting to have 300 units in stock and that is our buffer stock so that's another word for that and that's the stock that the business is is keeping back just in case there's some unexpected situation so you know deliveries arrive late or there's a fault with a batch of raw materials and they can't be used etc so the business has kept a little bit of stock there so that it can keep producing if something 
goes wrong. The other thing that we can read off this chart is actually at the top and here you can see the maximum stock level. So you can see when a business, this business is reordering, it's going back up to, to 900. So the people controlling this stock control system have decided that they want their minimum to be 300 and they want their maximum to be 900. So the next thing that you, you can plot is, you can see my blue line there, the reorder level. So in this particular example, we're assuming that there's going to be a reorder level of 500 units. And what that is saying is, is that as the business uses its stock, when it gets to that 500 level, it is going to place an order. So for example, if you look on this particular chart, you can see that the first time they place an order is here at week two. And then subsequently, a nice regular pattern of placing orders. Each start time, the stock is being used up and it's falling to that reorder level. So the next thing you can see now, I've put this little green line in. So that's showing in this example with that reorder level of 500 units, you can see here, you've got a lead time of one week. So for example, if they're making an order at uh, week eight, then they're getting their delivery at week nine. And with inventory control charts, you can work out either the lead time if you know the reorder level, which is what we've just done, or you can work out the reorder level if, they, if you already know the lead time. So I'll just show you a different example now of working out um, the reorder level. So we shall get rid of these bits. And now we're gonna assume that our um, lead time is two weeks. So what we need to do is then plot that on our chart. We can plot it on any of these um, different periods where stock's coming in. But you can see here, so if, I'm, if I want my stock in at week nine, with a two week lead time, I need to order at week seven. So what you can do now is just plot your horizontal line across there, and that will tell you, with a two week lead time, you need to be ordering stock when your stock has fallen to 700 units. So either way, if you've got lead time, you can work out reorder level, or if you've got the reorder level, you can work out the lead time. So you can see here that the orders are placed quite a lot earlier in this second example with the higher reorder level. So thank you, that's it for inventory control charts. Thank you very much.